All right, mercury is in the amalgam filling. As they try to tell us, there's just a small amount of mercury in there. That's 500,000 parts per million, which means 50% mercury. The mercury comes out of the filling. Uh, as you can see here, um, we're getting the average person would have over 200 micrograms a day coming out. How much does it take to create a disease uh, to attack the body? It takes one microgram. And we've got nearly 300 if you've got the conventional eight fillings. If you've got nine, oh, brother. Well, mercury can create some problems. Then we found that bacteria can create problems, too. And then it, it becomes interesting where they say, well, you know, a lot of these bacteria in the mouth, and they don't do any damage. They're just sitting there in the mouth. Uh-huh. Okay, this brings up another point, that in the mouth, the pH, which is the acid content in the mouth, is at a certain level. <clears throat> if you do something real horrible, oh, boy, I shouldn't have said that, like having your teeth clean. <laughs> But this does create a problem, and we have a solution for the problem. Because you take these little sharp things, and you go down there and scratch around, you're going to develop some bleeding. Mm -hmm. All right, if you see blood, you have a two-way street. Because if blood can come out, bacteria can go in. You know, you scrape your knee when you're a kid, and mommy puts a Band-Aid over it. Why? To keep it from becoming infected. Well... In the mouth, we've got the same situation where the bacteria can go into the bloodstream, and there the pH, the acid content, is different. The pH in the blood turns on genes. You've got the same bacteria, but it's like if John Wayne, the old cowboy, is standing there with a gun on his hip. No big deal. But if he pulls the gun out, it's getting to be a threat. If he pulls the trigger, now it's a big deal. All right, this is what happens. When the bacteria go into the bloodstream, they draw the gun. And there are certain pHs that occur in the bloodstream that, if stimulated, pull the trigger. Who stimulates it? Certain of the other dental materials. So we don't have a mercury problem, a copper problem, a bacterial problem, a viral problem. We have a consensus of action here in which the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines are all getting together to mess with the human system.